Good morning, everybody. Mike Vaki, PrincetonTrader.com, here for NTMarkets.com with your Tuesday morning pre-market webcast. Uh, Five-minute chart of the S&P, and I just wanted to point out, you know, we, we went up and did 0375 uh, last night, you know, right around 9 o'clock. They tried to take it back up off of the Europe Open. They bumped into the, the June monthly pivot there, you know, in the 2100 area, and we've been making successive lower highs since. One, two, three, and lower lows. So I'll be very interested to see between now, it's about 7.40 in the morning Eastern time, so we open in a little less than two hours. Uh, I'll be interested to see how this plays out into the open. We're setting up for another dip buy, similar to what we had yesterday. Here was your open yesterday. We push below, we push below the weekly pivot at 2079.10. We laid a lot of these levels out for you, for you in, in the webcast yesterday morning. We pushed down into the July monthly pivot at 74 half. And this is why in, in the chat room we watch the old monthly pivots. They tend to remain important. Monthly pivots have been the guideposts for trading in 2015. Absolutely without a doubt. And I can get into that a little deeper in the webinar that I'm going to do on um, on Wednesday after the close. We've been doing one a week. This week it's going to be Wednesday at 4.45. Uh, the sign-up is connected to this post, so sign up and join us. I've been having a lot of fun with these, and we've been getting some really great feedback. This is the third one that we're doing. So what yesterday's trade was about was running it from the July monthly pivot back up to the June monthly pivot. So we were able to get into a nice long. I did a blog post about that. Uh, it was a really nice co collaboration with everybody in the room, and once it got back over that weekly pivot, and then it climbed back to the to the to the daily mid band, it established the mid band as support on a higher low, and then it was able to make a few more runs up higher. The afternoon, this right in here, it really went summer tape on us between like 1:30 and 3, you know, 3:15 in the afternoon, and just about bored anybody out, and then they ran it a little bit higher. Um, so I'm looking for something not too dissimilar this morning. If the dip buy theory breaks down, what you will see occur is a move below mid band that likely touches or breaks the monthly pivot. And you will start to see this area here, the 9133 daily pivot down to the mid band at 79, 89.75 essentially. You'll see that go resistance. Then you will see a move down. Then you'll see the monthly pivot and the nine-day go resistance, he tried to say. And the stairs will start to head lower versus yesterday where they were headed higher. Okay, So if the bears end up having a day today, that's how it's going to occur. They're already trying to get it done. Lower high, lower high, lower high. They're trying to take it down. Um, the problem they run into is when they get to about 10 o'clock in the morning, they get to a big area and they hesitate. And the hesitation that you see happen, 10, 15, 20, 25 minutes of hesitation, by a half an hour you've got a higher low, it emboldens the dip buyers and that's how the bears lose control of a tape that they had control of. The AD was well in excess of, of, of negative 300. They could have controlled the tape yesterday, but we'll see how it goes for them today. As we get out onto the daily chart, Here's your daily. And what we're starting to see is a little bit of band compression. Bollinger bandwidth is about 2.18. Um, remember, we never anticipate the outcome. Uh, we wait and see where expansion is going to be. And then we go ahead and we ride it either up or down, depending. Um, the last time bands were this tight, we ran it up to the highs after a head fake down. Is this the head fake down? I don't know. It's too early to tell. Um, it's, it's been much too much of a choppy market. If you see it begin to lean really in the direction of the bulls to expand upward, you have to take out the 2109 quarter high, get up into the band at 13 half, and then see what you can do to get back to uh, 2126. If we do a head fake higher and down, 
the thing that that typically tells us that that's going to work is consistent resistance at mid band so those are the two battlegrounds for for band expansion um, we'll start talking about this every day i certainly don't envision it happening today um, but it's something to start thinking about and we can talk about that uh, tomorrow during the webinar as well all right everybody have a fantastic day follow us on twitter at princeton trader check out the website Come join a lot of other people and check out the chat room. We'd love to meet you. We would love to have you. Uh, I will be back tomorrow morning with another webcast. Trade them well, everybody.